Welcome to We Dig, the show where we talk about beer, music, and all the other life splendors. My name's Laird, this is Rafi, Yo. and here's what we dig. Today's beverage of the day is Saint of Circumstance by Collective Arts Brewery, a Hamilton brewery. Diving in. A crisp opening with a nice mix of citrus just at the finish. You'd bust this beer out at the beginning of a party for a delicious icebreaker. I want to be friends with this beer right now. Now, there's one other really key detail about this beer that makes it awesome. On every can, there's an original piece of art. If you download an app called Blip Art, it actually allows you to scan the can and find out more information about that artist which is really unique. This beautiful can is basically a Pokemon Go for hipsters. You know who I'm talking about. You know you want to go out and collect them now. There's a lot of music streaming applications out there. It's a jungle. Apple Music, Spotify, Google Play, Tidal. This episode, we're gonna to try to break it down for you. Spotify, it's $10 a month. You can pay on any device, TV, your phone, PlayStation. You can even play it probably out of your fridge. If you don't wanna pay for the service, you can play it off your computer and you just have to deal with some ads. Google Play and Apple Music, I'm actually gonna to group together because they're really similar to each other in that both of them offer a $9.99 individual plan, but then you can get a group plan for 15 bucks or $14.99. And if you have bought into the ecosystem of the Apple, the Apple might be the way to go. If you bought into Android, Google Play, and you know Spotify, and even Tidal are, are kind of other options. They're good on both platforms, but really, Apple Music and Google Play is really what you prefer, and if you're an Android user or not. And if you want that high quality sound, you got Tidal. Tidal is just so expensive. Tidal is so expensive, I can't afford the X, it's expensive. I have to put two S's in, it's expensive. So really the choice is yours. Do you want to pay a little bit more, but get fantastic quality music? Do you want to pay a little bit less, but maybe not necessarily get the same level of releases that you get with Apple Music, and there's exclusive releases with Apple Music, and exclusive releases with Tidal? Could somebody just buy somebody else? But if you got to choose for now, whatever fits you best, and really, we'll see who wins this battle. My Music Digger of the Day is an album by a group called Magic City Hippies, called the Hippie Castle EP. This album allows you to sit down with a drink at an easy pace, just enjoy the afternoon. Fantastic for waking up in the morning. The opening track is just uplifting. It makes you want to open the, the windows, open the, the blinds, just let the light in your house, and then go for a really nice stroll. The band is from Miami. If you're a fan of Sublime, of Magic, of you know other kind of uh, beach rock slash reggae, they are really a good band to listen to. There are some elements that may not be family friendly. However, if you're comfortable with playing your kids Jimi Hendrix, you could probably handle this album. I give this album four out of five flames with a yeah. I've been digging Michael Kiwanuka's sophomore album, his second album, it's called Love and Hate. Uh, Michael Kiwanuka stepped away from music after his first album in 2012 and decided to really enhance the sound, his vocals, uh, and what you get is a spiritually driven, politically driven, and very emotional album. For Love and Hate, Michael Kiwanuka hooks up with Brian Burton, also known as Danger Mouse. After his first album in 2012, and going on a tour with Adele, Michael Kiwanuka was approached by Kanye West to collaborate and to contribute to Jesus. And at the time, Michael Kiwanuka said in an interview that it was so much pressure and he didn't know if he would live up to Kanye's great expectations. So he stepped away from that project. When asked if he would do it again, if you step away, he said, you know, it really gave him a chance to enhance his vocals. It really gave him a chance to grow. This is definitely family friendly, but with a little bit of parental guidance because you will need to guide your kids through the various spiritual and political stuff he talks about. I give it a solid four flames. The old school diamond of the day today are these pillows by Persnickety Design. This collection actually commemorates some of the legends of our time that we've lost. I know I've always wanted to wake up beside Prince and Bowie at the same time. Bowie, front and back. Prince, with the logo on the back. Sorry, Bowie. I'm a bit more of a Prince kind of guy. How about you? You want some Bowie? Yes, please! That was this episode of What We Dig. 
If you liked it, hit that like button. If you want to see more, hit that subscribe button. You know, share us with the world by hitting that share button. Otherwise, my name is Laird. I'm Rafi. And we'll see you next time. Can I go get a beer? <laughs> How much is part of fresh? Bowie, front and back. Also in Elvis. This beer is a self-gift for summer good times.